is brought to you by the Savvy Games Group. And it's been a good start. I've just realized I forgot hmm. to set my lights back on. One minute. I'm going to do that right oh. now. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, I'm a pro. Welcome, everybody, back. Why did you turn them off? To enjoy some nice relaxation on my it eyes. It was five minutes. We were in a break for five minutes, yeah. and you turned your lights off. Look, I got laser eye surgery, okay? It's important that I keep these babies what? not just drowning in light. Do you not turn your lights off ever? It's lovely to have them off for a No. Oh, I wait well. till the end of the show, and then I sit here, close my eyes, put my head down, and then wait for the next you know show, what? and then turn my eyes on, sit back up, and then keep going. Of all the things that I thought I'd be lectured by you about, I would not be one of them. <laughs> Next up, Should we move on. We've got <laughs> more Rocket League. I enjoyed that first series. It was a really fun one, wasn't it? With uh, it was indeed one against Boulevard. It was indeed. We've got the bracket that we can have a little old gander at as well. Because not only is this stream going on, but also the A stream. We're in complexity. The Optic Gaming three one as well. So a couple of three ones. Um, but now we are moving up to Space Station Gaming versus Team Axel. And on the A stream, they're going to be looking at G2 Esports versus Koi. Space Station Gaming Com versus Team Axel. What are your vibes on them? Because people know Axel, I think, a lot more. Um, where we've seen their name in and around the RLCS a good few times. Yeah, I think Axel always seem to make it to these regionals, but never really go too much further than that, which is quite disappointing. You know, I, I see the players that they have on their team, and I, I want them to do a little bit more. I want to see, I want to see gimmick make it back to a land for just for old time's sake. I want to hear the name Taroko all Taroko. the way through a stadium being boomed about. It never quite seems mm. to happen. They're also in this format in particular, somewhat unproven in one v ones and two v twos, and. Space Station Gaming have got no such problems, really. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're definitely favourites here, as you'd expect from a team that's been invited. Whereas Space Station Gaming, as you said, Carl, they are our invited team. That is Arsenal, LJ and Hoxha. Hoxha joining that roster very recently as well, after recently losing Daniel to version 1. So... What are your vibes for this series? Space Station Gaming, I think because they're invited for me and because I see them as generally a better team, I think that I would give them the edge, but I don't think this is a sweep. I think we're probably going to be seeing a 3-2 here. Yeah, I think the the, the only real clear, clear, clear favourite from one to the other would be a 2v2 where LJ, I believe, held the world record at one point for the highest 2v2 MMR at, at right. some point. I'm not sure if he's still there at the moment, but he's definitely a more than capable 2v2 player. The first step to get through the 3v3, and if you're Hoxer, you've been in and around the RLCS for a little while. Mm -hmm. you've, 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 you've had some achievements, but never, never won a line. You've never been close to doing that. It's very scary to step into the shoes of Danny. Just That's what he has God, to do. Yeah. Although he's, what, 5-1 flat, he has got the biggest feet I've seen in the world. They are some gigantic shoes the Hawks needs to step into. But a great pass between LJ and Arsenal, his two teammates, is going to be starting off Space Station with the goal in only 25 seconds as well. And it's been mostly that pressure for Space Station Gaming. And a great pass across from one to the other. LJ up for them 1-2 with the reset oh. and down. That is wonderful play from Space Station Gaming. I mean, maybe one positive with Daniel leaving is that LJ will be able to express himself a little bit more. That's the sort of play people were excited to see when LJ was brought into this team. It never quite materialized when he brought when he uh, replaced mm -hmm. Rettles. But now maybe he feels like the man. Maybe he feels confident. Maybe this is exactly what Space Station Gaming needed. Look at them go. Isn't it mad, though, when you see a team that loses one of the best players in the world, but they didn't necessarily fit with that team, well, with the two teammates that they're with. Um, Space Station Gaming have got a lot of room to grow into, trying to fill that void of Daniel, but LJ and Hoxha are a duo that I think will do very, very well for them. And people always said that I was never convinced about really was LJ. He's so good. He's so talented. Daniel, he requested that he join. He wants LJ on his team. And I never really saw it. But now, when he has more space, when he has more time, when he has more opportunities, yeah, I, I absolutely believe the hype about him. Not yeah. just in this game as well, when we've seen him previously playing. Um, yeah, they've not done the best in the world, but LJ has been a great player on Space Station Gaming regardless. Yeah, I mean, it's good to see Space Station Gaming going for it as well. You had Arsenal there on the backboard, going for the freestyle plays, going for the confident plays, want to have some fun against Team Axel and enjoy themselves here in the potential qualification for Gamers A. And Space Station Gaming couldn't have asked for any more in their debut as a team. It's almost four, actually. Maybe they can ask for more because there's still three and a half minutes left. Plenty of time to get themselves some goals 
and really get some belief under their belts. Because that, as much as anything, is what they're playing for. Space mm. Station Gaming are a team that will have the season as a whole in their minds, making it into future lands, making it to worlds, and going forward long term as a team. Two minutes nearly having elapsed in this first game. Space Station still three goals to the good Arsenal trying to pitch it round to Roko. I need to not do that. It's just, it's so addictive saying it. Saying Taroko. Taroko. There we go. I can, do, I can just say Taroko. 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 I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like Taroko. And then let's move on. LJ is going to wait underneath Gimmick right here. Gimmick, the former world champion, the season six master. He just spoon feeds the ball towards LJ. In front of him. <laughs> He's got some help in front of him as well. That was Hoxha, wasn't it? Clearing the way. Was that Arsenal? I can't see, I'll be honest. Uh, but one of them was just clearing the path for him. And Space Station Gaming seems to be entirely in sync. What I'm liking seeing from Arsenal too is that he is taking on that third man role a lot better than I think he, he was previously. Yes, we've seen him pop off at events. We've seen him do fantastically well online. But Arsenal is a player that I think needs to be sitting a bit further back for his teams to thrive. He is a, an incredible player, but he is not necessarily at the level mechanically as frequently and consistently as we see LJ and Hoxha really get to. So. I'm, I'm liking seeing what Arsenal's doing, playing that more facilitator role, making sure that he is passing, sending the ball off to his teammates, and clearing the way cart, as you said earlier. This game looking more and more like it will belong to Space Station Gaming, and the dust settles. But Toroka puts that one into the corner. Teammates will have woken up a little bit after going three behind, but it's see Space Station Gaming still checking out those pre-jumps. We'll set the fight to Teammates up as much as possible and make a statement here in game number one of this potentially long best of five in the air, gets the second touch, gets the flick reset, oh. but it's just gone to the side of Taroko. And Tosi can come forward, oh. I'll tell you what, a goal soon for Axel could open things right back up. That looked like it could have been two, but LJ managing to get the deftest of touches, manages to clear it away, and LJ again up so quick, already before I feel that, that initial touch was made. Arsenal to shoot on target, that's going to be open, but the opposite corner does get covered by the man Toasty. He's coming in to set the shot. He does still wants to be the big man for Space Station. I love this from LJ. I mm -hmm. feel like they really needed someone to take their team by the scruff of the neck because SSG are a squad that has been pretty much written off. You know, with Daniel leaving, people aren't mm -hmm. talking about them in the in the race for any top fives even. So mm -hmm. them coming into events like this and doing well, obviously it's a load of money which they'll all want to win and fair play to them. This was the statement they had to make. Because they almost make it four. Mm -hmm. Hops is turning around, gets the demo. Comes Arsenal, but one touch too many. A little bit too high, even for LJ in the form that he's having. I'm intrigued who we see in the 1v1. Oh, oh that was nice, though. though. Don't care about the 1v1s anymore. LJ yeah, manages either. to burn all of his boost for this assist. Onto that side with one, then the second round gimmick above Toasty, and then Hoxer finally beating out Toroko. Great passing play from him. The two newbies onto that Space Station roster are astronomical. Outclassed of Team Axel Bean. I believe they did not qualify for the regional as well. So it's been a disappointing few days for Team Axel if this continues to go the way it's going. We're going to try and get something going, but it's just not really happening for them right now. Space Station seeing this one away. They've dominated their opponents in game number one. Even a couple of half chances for Team Axel right at the end. They're going to come to nothing. Can they get something to build upon any of the 1v1s or 2v2s? I'm not sure it's going to happen, Stumpy. I think this one is going to be a clean 4-0 victory, maybe even 5 for Space Station. And what a welcome for their new teammate. I wonder what they pick. I wonder if they pick 2s or 1s. Again, if you're just joining us, hello. We are doing a crew battle right. format. 3v3 in game number 1, then the losing team picks out of 2v2 or 1v1. If you're going 2v2, you have to be confident that you can beat literally a world record setter in LJ for getting the highest MMR. That is a very big claim, and with the player that he plays with frequently in mm -hmm. Hoxha, they are completely unproven, Axel, in ones and in twos. I'd probably say go for ones. Yeah, here. I'd, I'd, I'd think so too. Um, I do. I agree. The more, no, the, do you know what? No, I disagree. You don't have to. I think they should go two v twos because I think that they won't be afraid of some NMR. They'll tell themselves, oh, it's only MMR, you know, it's a load of rubbish, it doesn't mean anything, it's ranked. This is when it matters, okay? And sure, LJ does have that world record, but as of everything, it's so different. It's, it's like saying, oh, that player's really good at free play. I bet they're going to score loads of good goals against us. It's just, it's not the same. Higher chance. Higher chance, though. There it's is the a higher, higher chance. chance of that. Basically, Would you rather play against somebody who is a free play merchant 
or who never did free play? Uh, th- 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 someone who never does free play, I guess. Right. You've got me over a barrel. Well done, Stumpy. You win this you round. Go. Thank you, mate. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of pirate references. Two. <laughs> Two too many for me. They go with a 1v1. I called it. It's Arsenal against Toasty. Interesting. I did not see Arsenal taking me, but I love that. I I love that going for him. Well, do you love that though? Going one goal behind straight away. I'm so angry. Experienced man in the team. Takes it upon his back and already just gets dived into by Toasty and and there's one goal down. It's going to be a long old uh, few minutes here in 1v1. Let's see. Let's see, Stumpy. Arsenal going for the 1v1 has really... Yeah. Shook me branches. You shook it? I am. I, I, it's not that Arsenal isn't. Uh, Arsenal, it's just not the player that I expected to see come in here. I don't know. This just this it just feels peculiar to me. It does feel odd, doesn't it? But I'm sure they've got their reasons, and maybe uh, in the future when we um, can interview these players. Uh, be no excuse today but in general we can ask them what the logic was behind that because i'm thinking that myself you know i'm thinking that mechanically arsenal is probably the weakest on this team but maybe it's an experience thing maybe they're a little bit Lovely. why would they be spooked because they just won a huge game one hmm. oh, toasty slow rolling that one towards the net two sees arsenal challenging so wants to be uh, getting it as much as he can but arsenal he had a great challenge he went for the low uh 50. Uh, on the air dribble and he got the reset but as he landed he just moved far enough away from the ball so Toasty could get the pinch just a little bit further and in 30 seconds three goals scored as you said Cole potentially quite a long match for Arsenal oh this is not looking good at all for Arsenal he does manage to get back and he's got some boost in the tank as well he needs to get hold of this ball because so far I'd love to see the ball touch uh, ball touch statistics but I'd say that it's been about 80% possession for Toasty Seems to mm-hmm. have it under his spell, under his win. The 50 50 game a lot stronger. Toasty. He's taking his time from the pace of this one, too. So, Arsenal finding it tough to lay a glove on the team match for Toasty right now. He's not really sure what Arsenal can or will change in this, but it just seems that Toasty is superior. Oh, lovely player. shot. The shot into that bottom right corner is the only spot on the ground where he can score this. Arsenal spawns on that right hand side of his net and so then he has to be diving as far across as soon as he possibly can and Toasty waits, sees where he's going to spawn and then shoots in the opposite corner. Fantastic placement from him. Arsenal really has to wake up pretty much now. Four goals is doable, it's viable, a flick here would have helped for sure. See Arsenal just get some touches on the ball. Second flick, and he also hasn't recovered fast enough, I don't think. Or maybe he will be able to scamper back in time, but Toasty, again, has complete control. Tries to get the old bounce dribble going, quite pallid on this occasion. We'll keep on going. Toasty there, tipped over the top by Arsenal. And, I mean, Arsenal needs to change something desperately, Stumpy, and I'm just trying to figure out what that might be. I mean, it's been better play from him in the last, not two seconds, in the last 30 seconds or so. But he's not led to a goal. He hasn't actually managed to get anything from it. He's just sort of delayed the inevitable, it's felt like. And Tosi's movement, he is running circles around Arsenal right now. Yeah, uh, it's it's sort of, this This just feels like a mismatch to me. You know, it feels like Tosi is completely on top. Arsenal had that one chance at the flick, but other than that, he's looking pretty boost up the whole time. If you look at the top left and top right corner, you'll see that normally Tosi has more in the tank. That's good defending there from Arsenal, hiding behind the ball, and then putting it into his own goal almost. Tactical, tactical, tactical. Yeah, he, he knew what he was doing, I'm sure. It could be a goal, and he's got one. All right, 250 left, four goals in it. Definitely possible. 100%. 1v1 is Insanio style. It does not matter if you've, if you've conceded four. That is more than enough time, especially with over half the game done. Arsenal, with a good outplay of him too, manages to uh, send it high once and then tries to fake it a little bit low and then goes for it again. So, good movement from him, just sort of sending it towards the net. With 100 boost deal too, a shot straight on target, but just top right a little bit too far. That's a shame, it would have started to get a little bit more interesting had that one gone in. As it is though, Toasty just prods it back towards Space Station's half. And goes around, slow play, then he speeds up, gets the demo. Surely this ball is gonna roll in time. Oh, that's me. Just for a split second, Arsenal thought he could get back, but 
I feel like it's so harsh when you see like that there and Arsenal is like not moving. Then he goes, oh no, I need to. And then he just taps it in anyway. It's like he's, he's made him out of breath for no reason. Five points. Again, it's the target here for Arsenal. A couple of kickoff goals might help. Um, not if they go. Might help Toast. Might help Toast. <laughs> yeah, Toasty really needed that help. With some kickoff goals. What do we talk about now? I, it's a Brazil. Uh huh. That's kind of fun. Yeah. An interesting uh -huh. thing is that um, in Gamers Without Borders, you can have a squad. A squad of four players rather than three. Uh, three, and we're seeing that on the A stream right now. Where Koi have brought in uh, S5 Cosmo, who recently took rank one in one v one online. No! Oh, I thought it was completely open. Sorry, I wasn't upset about S5 Cosmic. I, mean, I, I thought you really were against <laughs> no! S5 Cosmic getting his Koi, what are you doing? <laughs> oh dear. I wanted to see Gyro take the one. <laughs> now Arsenal, Arsenal had. Just a straight up open net, yeah. and just just sort of just sort of miss really. With the reset though, he manages to score a little bit of a belter. Only five is the deficit, and he can score these wondrous goals, but mm. just that one evaded him earlier. Well, he was setting himself up for the for the North play, you know. That's the Arsenal way. He doesn't want to score some boring goal. He wants the special. He wants the ceiling play. He wants the uh, little quick reset. Is that the same as Arsenal, the football team? The problem is that he always tries to walk it in. No, nope. absolutely. It sounds a little not. bit like that's what you're getting at. In no, which case, I'm getting at. Great reference, I'm getting. Bro. You know, I hate. This. Maybe we'll reference that. Arsenal's starting to come back though, and I respect this a lot. He's managing to actually, as you said, change it up a little bit. Goes from an air draw bump, one touch, and then immediately aims for the man. Toasty is then sent to the backboard. Goal completely open. Only four is the difference. What were you thinking, putting Arsenal on that early? Shut. <laughs> It, Ginger. <laughs> Four goals needed. This suddenly becomes serious. If Stumpy can stop referencing ancient sitcoms, ancient now cancelled sitcoms, maybe we can focus on the Rocket League for a second. Arsenal, can we get himself this boost? Good first touch from him. Go on, flick it over Toasty. Give us a match. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. That was going to be good, but Toasty's going to make it 8-3. Just for a Back second, I believe, Stumpy. And now it is indeed. Your maths are correct. It's back to five. The problem with Arsenal there. Mm. What do you do? <laughs> he tried to walk it. In. Now bear in mind, this is a North American audience. Does anyone know? It is. What it is. About? It is. If anybody, I'm not even looking at chat. If anybody in chat. chat knows the, okay. If anybody in chat knows the reference, then one brownie point to you. If you don't know what the brownies are, then I'm sorry. <laughs> one minute left, and it's Arsenal desperately trying to not make this double digits against him but toasty is battling every now, single time we've really hyped up 1v1s in the run-up to, uh, to this event there are duds we've, we've, there we've, are sort of, we've sort of said our oh, ones in the most intense game it's so close any mistake you'll be punished for you'll never be able to concentrate we've arsenal's making lots more mistakes well the last one we saw i think it was eight nil was um was CPS. And now we've got a 9-3, so we've got uh -huh. a couple of, a couple of oh. big bad buddy boys to start off with. That's fine, but bear in mind that some sports start as a dud and they get good as well. Like what? Like Liverpool versus oh, Tottenham the other day. Yeah, that's true. There you go, football reference. What you're reference. saying is seven goals in 32 seconds. Oh, that's cool. That was a sad stop. There's got to be like a big red button on the desk where you can just type GG. Like the opposite of Britain's Got Talent with the gold buzzer. Sort of mm. like a red what? buzz. A red what? buzz what? off. What? Sorry, the, the red buzzer that they also have. Oh, yeah. But the difference is they don't have a, I mean, they don't have a mega <laughs> red buzzer on any of the Got Talent. It's pretty big. No, but they've only got, what I'm saying is they've only got their individual ones. The gold one. If I press it, even if everyone else hates the buzzer. Yeah, you're insta through. Insta through. There's no insta out. <laughs> if you really happen to hate this person. <laughs> if you, you really press, hate yeah, it. Yeah, they call it the red buzz off. Would they? If they wanted to. Anna and Deckwood. I could start Simon Cowell. Anna and Deckwood, yeah. Yeah. And if Anna and Deckwood so would I, Stumpy. 11-3, Axel are looking to be one all in the series, good for them, but it goes back to 3v3 after this match, and then afterwards, a 2v2 with the LJ and Hoxha will be having their 
pretty, I, think I would awesome. say, potentially dominant. Yeah, potentially... Awesome. You boy, you want to get... Big, big man Arsenal. He'll be like, don't worry, I got this. You're going to after this. Right. You know what? Well, if Ian comes, goes, guys, <laughs> put me in for the 2v2. I'd like LJ and Hoxer to collectively pull rank to just put themselves above Arsenal. Do you reckon? And say, mm, maybe not, mate. I think he played all right. Well, that was... No, 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 I want that analysis. Um, I got a flip reset. He if did, I, actually, if I yeah. had scored a flip reset, uh -huh. I'd be I'd be buzzing. I'd be well happy. I know you would be. You know? So that was that was pretty good. It wasn't very good, was it? I don't know why Arsenal did one v one there. I'm actually a little. I'm 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 actually a little bit annoyed. Are you okay? You're I'm, really going through it right now. I'm just a little bit annoyed that like we've not had a close one v one yet, and that's it. That's the only one. I mean, I mean, series. I mean, I thought this would go to five, and so thus far we are on track for that. Thus far. Game three. Don't do an inside joke. It's not an inside joke. Everyone heard it. All right, chat. Who doesn't know what I'm saying when I go thus far? Everyone was there. Okay, but I don't think anybody focused on it as much as we did. I, I think they did. It was, I, I saw the what comments now? on Twitch. People will remember thus far. I really don't think they will. But yeah, if they do, it. fair enough. Another brownie point. <laughs> did anybody get, get the reference, yeah, by the way? Person, one person died, nice. I'd like to know their demographic. Are they above 30? Probably. Uh, it's nil-nil in the 3v3. Axel have brought themselves back into the series. It was a tip-top performance from Toasty. And now they've got to do what they could not do in game one, and that is stand firm against the Space Station gaming attack. Because when the three of them play together, they're actually pretty good. I mean, I feel like, yeah, 3-3 three, is going to be the one where either team can take it, but with Space Station having the edge. I think 2v2 is basically, I feel, not, I don't want to oh. say locked in, but Toasty, he can't stop scoring. I think Toasty's making his pitch to join Space Station instead of Arsenal. Is that, look, look how well I can put it in the, in the new goal. It's actually a lovely little tip there. That was a, a tip top Toasty tip. Right there. 1 0 to Team Axel. And that's a bit of a shame because you, you can see why Toasty's gone for that. He wants to play fast, he wants to be aggressive, he wants to you know, try and take the fight to Space Station. But sometimes to try and be too speedy, it can backfire. That's what transpired. That's Team Axel. Now it's 2 0. Is it? LJ goes for the double in. Comes Hoxer. 2 0 in the top right corner. And Space Station Gaming already have a pair of goals to their name. Starting off incredibly strong with LJ. Not quite managing to get that double. It falls back down towards Hoxer to be able to fall in and grab that last touch. And finally, Space Station Gaming, I think, feel themselves more in these 3v3s, right? Yeah. This is their natural habitat. I mean, they're also not too bad at 2v2, as you alluded to earlier. So, I mean, maybe they were just trying to get over the 1v1s. Maybe they bat themselves in 2v3, and they certainly bat themselves in 2v2. They just wanted it to be done, so they were like, oh, go for Arsenal. Why not? Mm -hmm. Perhaps. It's still thrown me. Right. But maybe that's the logic there. Maybe it's a fairness thing. Like, oh, if, if Hoxer and LJ are doing the twos, it's only fair if Arsenal does ones. Maybe. May, or maybe people are going to shout at us later and say, guys, you know Arsenal is like number three in the world 1v1. And yeah, I'll be like, is him. he? <laughs> Crumbs. Yeah, but oh. that logic guy should be number two. What a fantastic shot from LJ. Manages to get it from Hoxha's in and out save. Receives it on the through ball to the ceiling and then punts it straight down. The touch does come in from Gimmick, but isn't able to do any... Uh, get, get, get enough touch to get it away from the net. 3-0. Space Station Gaming very much back on the horse. I'll tell you what, Space Station Gaming are making a bit of a name for themselves here. The, the way they're playing against Team Axel, it's not just the amount of goals they're getting, it's the amount Open. and the type of goals that they're scoring. Clean hits, confident hits, fun plays, exciting to watch. Space Station are going to win some fat. I mean, you know, Oof. I feel like over the last maybe year or so, they've been not bleeding fans, but bleeding belief people's belief in them. Mm. Maybe that's going to start to build back up based on what we're seeing here. I feel like it'd be nice. I feel like that would be something that fans would be there for. Yeah. To be able to go to a LAN and see SSG play again. Do you remember like at Worlds and stuff when SSG are there they have a huge amount of support. Somewhat drummed up by Red Bulls fans. I'm intrigued to see how that manages to go from now on but they've still got a lot of fans from that era um, of their game. Yeah, I'd like to see SSG um, back as one of the top teams in North America. And North oh! America's got so many. Hoxer! 
is trying his darn dip to put SSG back on top. Look at this. Look at this little doomsy dish from the side, out, Beautiful. in. Little flap over Taroko as well. That's brilliant. Flap. These are such good goals that Space Station Gaming are scoring. I think I'm going to make these my Cool Call 93 Dark Horse. Whoa. I think they're earning that right, mate. I... What, what, do I get a Cool Call 93 Dark Horse? <laughs> sure, everyone gets, every person gets one Cool Call 93 Dark Horse. Okay, okay. Um, I'm excited. Um, I'm going to pick probably version one. Sure. I know not many people back them. Yeah. But I do. I just have. Ooh, I've got a feeling. It will be a real Cinderella story if they can make the land on it. It really will be. I back them too, though. A lot of people are going to be. Ooh, Stumpy. No. No, but I do. I, I truly, truly back them. Space Station Gaming. They've had three minutes. They've had six goals. That last one was just a great read from LJ, knowing that the ball can't go anywhere else. And another block out from Hoxer. Good chances for. Everybody on Space Station Gaming to really flex these scoring muscles as it was a real drought in Arsenal's 1v1. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a shame this isn't the best of seven because I'd love to see a second 1v1. You know, it's like, an Arsenal back in the pit, bloody <laughs> bruised, yeah, saying, yeah. please, please keep me out. Guys, I, please. Scott, maybe, maybe they vote and they just thought it'd be funny. I don't know. Scott Sterling rocks up again, ready to have the ball <laughs> slammed into his face by Toasty. No. Well, actually, Scott Sterling does his job pretty well, doesn't he? He actually makes the saves, I believe. It's been a few years since I've seen the Scott Sterling sketch. But I think he just constantly makes saves. Uh, yeah, yeah, he constantly makes saves, but he's, like, unconscious on the chair. Yeah, exactly. So it's like that. It's like Scott Sterling if Scott oh, Sterling Pogo. was also conceding. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's, God. Imagine being compared to Scott Sterling, but worse. You know, Scott Sterling if he oh, was no. also bad. Oh, no. Oh, that's a long... No, he's got the oh. same toasties there. Okay. okay, people in chat saying Scott Sterling can save. Like, guys, come on. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. can't, can't hit him while he's down. You can't hit Scott Sterling. So that's literally <laughs> the joke. That's the joke. Six nil. This one's been a uh, what a, what a been weird, a, what a weird a switch of a series. I can't wait for the two v two that Team Axel win seventeen nil <laughs> <laughs> against like Arsenal and Arsenal's clone or something. Oh, that'd be fun. They deserve that. Who win? in a clone 2v2 thing. 50-50. No, no, not, not, <laughs> not like which version of Daniel would beat the other version of Daniel. Either team. Saying. Either team by definition, I feel. What I mean is, which player would be the best 2v2 teammate in their own clone? Uh, ooh, that's a very good question. I think Daniel. You think Daniel? Hmm. Because he's quite defensive and he's then happy to go forward when That's need true. Be. You don't want someone, you don't want like a pair of beast modes getting each other's way. Oh no, you're silly. Toes. You're silly. Okay. You're silly, you're wrong, you're incorrect. Turn I'm going to say three letters to you. TRK. Z. E. N. Ah, uh, Sizen. Sizen, exactly. He would be able to <laughs> rock up and smash it out. But no, um... Yeah, I think Zen would be. Zen's just the best ones, and he's smashing it. Or Roas. Just basically, it just comes threes, down to... All the three, okay. All the three-letter people. Any three... <laughs> yeah. Or Ars. Arsenal. <laughs> A-R-S. So, that was a fantastic win there for the boys of Axel. Space Station Gaming. Um, no, sorry, rather. Space Station Gaming managed to take it. I've shook myself. Um... <laughs> Whoever wins it is going to be going through to, <laughs> to face off <laughs> face off versus G2. The 2v2 though is going to be very interesting. It is going to be Arsenal and Arsenal's clone versus Taroko and Toasty. I think that's the most that actually talks for real. Sorry, that really got me. Right, okay. I'm 2v2. Very LJ and Hoxha are disappointed. Arsenal, Arsenal can't believe it. It's on the sideline. <laughs> Why are they playing? <laughs> he's on the bench. That's put me in. He's having a right spot. He's, he's in free play. He's in free play. All right, okay. Uh -huh. 2v2, serious. There, there is literally hundreds of thousands of dollars I know, I know, that I these know. teams are competing for. It's a big, big moment. A 2v2. The 1v1 was, let's just say, a write-off. I don't know what happened there. The Space Station gave me a lick their wounds. They've smashed Axel 6-0 in the meantime. 
now we have game four. Hoxa and LJ, they know each other's games. Though. The 2v2 team that we thought was going to be coming out as well. Um, but T Taroko and Toasty, I, I mean, T Toasty is clearly no slouch. Uh, Taroko, again, unproven in these 1v1, um, in the 2v2s rather, and the 1v1s so far in this tournament because of the uh, the open qualifier just being... Oh! LJ's just so being good. that 3v3. Uh, that's not just LJ, mate. Did you see Hawks to get in the demo? It's a lovely demo, but look at the second touch. Look at this. Ready? 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 One touch. Two. It was very nice. He got it on his roll. The toasty roll. I suppose he could. What a finish that was. I actually love LJ. He's going to be the player of the split. I'm calling him. All this hype about Daniel, about beast mode. Then when you uh, called Brazier the player of the split or whatever. I called him He's the a, rookie of the season because I forgot that he made the rookie regional of the season in his in second spring. season. As if you knew that he made regional two in spring. Yes, I did. How did you know that? I just did. Well done. Some clever. You are really smart. This man. is going to be LJ's rookie season. He's going to break out. I never you put the word rookie in my mouth. All right. He's going to be the rookie of the year. Get the word I, rookie out your mouth. I never said that. I just said it's going to be his split. Okay. You think LJ is going to be the player of the split? Relative speaking. Like no, 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 no. What were your <laughs> words, Cole? Because you, relatively speaking, what's so you reckon he's going to be good for him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm calling it LJ. LJ is the man. LJ is the, the player man. of the split is what yes. you're saying. Yeah. Quote me. Quote me on this right here, right now. Someone clip it. LJ will be the player of the split. <laughs> <laughs> I really God, wish I wish that was, that was LJ. Oh man, that would have been my favourite moment in Rocket God, history. I wish that was LJ. If that there was, was LJ. every part of me that was me hoping too. just just teleport, do something, let the universe have the nameplates wrong. Oh, that's a shame. Unfortunate. Uh, one 0 though, still at the space station with a uh, two one in the series so far. Win this, and you go through the honour of playing against G two, who are doing actually pretty well versus Koi. They managed to win two one in their three v three. They won six two. Um, with Atomic versus S5 Cosmic, uh, no, using that super sub. He was brought in and then they lost 6-2. Yeah, brutal, oh, man. man. And Koi chose it. Um, they're being like, lads, look at our super sub. He's lost. <laughs> he's, he's lost that quite spectacularly. Uh, and then game three was in another 3v3 that they managed to win another 2-1. Wow, well done, G2. PlayStation on the cusp of winning this, their first series. So that's all. I've certainly got some tricks in the tank. So has to be careful here that Toasty doesn't just completely charge him down straight away. And he's got 100 boost as well. His teammate Taroko in. So that's a quiet series, I would say, Taroko. Because he misses that quickly. So that takes that LJ as well. That one could be sneaking in, but it's saved by Hoxa. LJ's turn now. My future player of the split. What's he got in the tank? Oh, he's going to dive that towards Hoxa, is he? Not quite. Taroko stands tall behind. A very close 2v2. Normally you see three or four goals really come in. Um, Hawks though going off that double, a good block, but it does pinch out into the corner. What were you going to say? You breathe. No, I was just, I was having a breath, you know. Oh, yeah, a little, 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 little schnuffle. Oh, oh, it's a close shot. Can't quite find its way in the opposite corner. Now, LJ pushing on the opposite side of the pitch. Only a 20 boost to Roko. He's going to have that boost stolen away from him as well. Just has to commit on this. And gets that mid. Lovely movement from him. LJ, though, pre-jumping. Sees Toasty, but one touch oh, over the safe. top. Toasty saving it away. Toasty's been really impressive this series, apart from just the 1v1 in 3s has looked good. Uh, and in 2v2 now, yeah, he's, he's showing his work. Against, need we remind you all, the man with the world record in 2v2, alongside Hoxha as well. You can see why he's so good. Hoxha, he gets the ball and he knows exactly what to do. The composure is there. Just boosts his way through that ball. And Taroko had no chance of coming back. Now there's 37 seconds in 2v2, Stumpy. Is that enough time? Absolutely, a kickoff goal, and then maybe one in slightly extended play, but it all relies on how this ends up going to Roku. With the mid boost, with the ball slightly behind him, that's taken an awkward turn round, not much power. And LJ challenging too. Hawks knows he can go to the backboard, and with a 100 boost pick up as well, he can progress down the pitch. With a reset and Toasty in there, he sends it high, top corner, the dunk. Not quite successful on the chance, and a goal needs to come in these 20 seconds. Oh, the demo's not going to help though. LJ can just slow this one right down. Toasty desperate to pitch that ball towards the opposite goal. Good play. Not going to matter, though. Hoxha was there and waiting. Seven seconds left. It's looking like Space Station Gaming are going to win their first foray in competitive Rocket League 
with their new trio. Hoxha is looking like the player that they need. They go through in the upper bracket. It's a top performance from all of them. And Space Station Gaming win out. Fantastically played um, as well. It was... The confusing 1v1 um, early on in the series that I think threw Never us happened. and made us all be a little bit goofy and gaffy and a little <laughs> yeah. bit silly. But in the end, SSG managing to get that done. Axel will be dropping into the lower bracket. They'll be facing off versus Koi. That is going to be coming up later today. As is the other matchup that were the two losing teams. That is Optic Gaming versus Boulevard. And bear in mind... You don't need to win this tournament to be going through to Gamers 8. You just need to get through into the upper bracket final and the lower bracket final. You get top four and you will be in. Um, otherwise, we're going to have a little old break here um, on the B stream. Uh, afterwards, you will be able to catch, let me have a gander. Oh, it's not been filled in. You'll be able to catch another series of the Rocket League.